welcome. My name is Megan Shade and I am the Director of and I have Professor Scales with us here today and we are here to tell you why you should go to law school now and why you should consider Florida Coastal. And we're really going to focus on those students here in Florida and why you should stay in the state of Florida to go to law school. I wanted to give you an idea of what we're going to cover today. First, we're going to talk about the support that we have for the bar exam. Then we're going to talk about the benefit of being in Jacksonville. What does Florida Coastal have to offer me? And then just basic criteria for admission to Florida Coastal. And at the end, we'll open it up to any questions that you may have. So I'm going to turn it over to to prepare for the Florida bar examination. So throughout your curriculum and all of the courses, as part of those courses, your professors will focus on components of each area of the law that are subject to testing on the Florida bar exam, as well as you know, the overall course material as well. And then in our final semester, we have a very rigorous, comprehensive bar preparation program for you. So your final semester, right before you take the bar exam, um, you will take two comprehensive bar preparation courses, and they're for credit. They're three credits each. And I happen to teach the course that reviews the Florida law subjects. And then there's another course that teaches the multi-state law subjects. So for the Florida bar, the bar exam is two days long, and the first day is testing you on Florida law. The second day tests you on multi-state law, which means law um, that is more national in nature. We also do have some students who take Georgia or take a bar exam um, that utilizes a bar exam called the Uniform Bar Exam, and we do offer courses um, in those areas as well. In the um, Florida bar exam course, we cover all of the Florida topics, and as you can see on this slide, the list is quite long, so this is quite a comprehensive course. Um, it goes over family law, dependency, juvenile delinquency, constitutional law, trust and estate, secure transactions, commercial paper, evidence, wills, business associations, Florida civil practice, Florida criminal practice, and Florida professional responsibility. So the Florida bar does test on all of these things. A nice thing about Coastal is, first of all, we offer you very detailed, thorough courses in each of these subjects. And so hopefully you would take all of those courses during your three years here. And then for a grand finale in your final semester, we teach um, a course we call Florida Law Survey, and we review every single one of these subjects and offer you the opportunity to do practice tests and to review those with you. And our goal is to give you a long runway to get prepared for the bar. So we start you uh, your entire last semester of law school doing really thorough review rather than you waiting until after you graduate when you only have two months to prepare. Um, and then the other course that covers the multi-state topics, and you see all the topics listed there, again, you will have had courses in all of those um, during your time here but we have a very comprehensive course that last semester that reviews all of them. Again, so that you can start your bar review six months before the bar exam rather than after you graduate when you would only have two months. So our courses are really well developed. Um, we have really great results. And um, I think they're a feature of Florida Coastal that really helps us to stand out and would cause me to choose to come to Florida Coastal. Awesome. So I know one other part of the um, components that we have um, classes is to prepare the students for the ethical part of the bar exam. So did you want to talk a little bit about what we offer for that or how that class is structured? Yes. So in order to be admitted to the bar in any state, you also have to pass an exam called the Multi-State Professional Responsibility Exam. You may hear of it referred to as the MPRE. So we also have a course that prepares you very well 
to take the MPRE and you will take the examination actually at the end of the semester when you're taking that course so that by the time you leave law school you will have successfully completed the MPRE and then you'll also be really well on your way in your Florida bar exam or really any bar exam bar preparation. Awesome. Well, Professor Scales, thank you so much. I know you're busy. We appreciate you taking the time to come and chat with us today. So I, I'm going to let her go and get back to her work, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more. All right. Thank you. And if any of you have questions, please reach out. I'm happy to help. All right, guys. So I want to talk to you just a little bit more. And if you do have any questions um, about bar prep, I am happy to answer some of those at the end today and then can always get you in contact with Professor Scales to have those questions answered. But I want to talk to you guys about what are the benefits of you as a Florida you know, student, whether you've lived in Florida your entire life, you moved to Florida for undergrad, or you know, you're just trying to decide should I stay here? And that's what I want to talk to you about today. What are the benefits? So why Jacksonville? If you have never been to Jacksonville, you should come and visit us. Yes, we are in the Northeast area of the state. We are the only law school in Northeast Florida. The closest um, law school to us is gonna be the University of Florida. So we have a lot of great opportunities for our students while they're here, which I will talk about a little later. Also, our alumni have stayed in the area. A lot of our alumni are here and they really wanna mentor our students and assist you through the process. So being in an area where our students and our alumni are really getting acclimated to the community here in Jacksonville is amazing. Jacksonville is a large city. It has a small legal community though, and that allows you to immerse yourself into it, to really take advantage of the opportunities that are here. There are local organizations that are constantly working with our students to give them experience, to get them networking opportunities, because honestly, at the end of the day, it is that networking that you do while you're here and those connections that you make that are really gonna make an impact. Now you might be saying, well, Megan, I don't want to stay in Jacksonville after law school. And I totally get that. So what my advice is to you is if you are thinking, okay, I want to go to law school in Jacksonville, but I really want to practice in Miami, or I really want to go back to Tampa, then what I encourage you to do is to work with us, let us know, and we will get you those experiences over the summer in the area of Florida that you are most interested in. The other important thing to note is that our externship coordinator and our Center for Professional development which is like a career services will assist you with wherever you want to go to practice it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stay here in Jacksonville all right you're coming to law school and that's an important thing and you really want to be focused on that but I wanted to share some fun facts about Jacksonville as well we here in the campus I'm sitting in my office today we are 20 minutes to the beach so if you are somewhere in Florida that is landlocked and you are looking for a little bit of relief, Jacksonville can definitely provide you for that with you that. Um, it's a great opportunity. It's a great city. There's a lot to do. There's many activities for you to do outside of the school. You know, there's areas for everybody here in Jacksonville. There's museums, there's, there's art, there's sporting events to attend. Last I checked, we have eight Yes, eight pro sport teams here in Jacksonville. So there is a lot for you to take advantage of. Where's the school located? If you don't know, I'm actually view, I can view 95 from my office here. We are right off of 95 at the Bay Meadows exit. So we are located in what's called the South Side area of Jacksonville. And it is an area that is growing. When I moved here about nine years ago, when I was a student here at Florida Coastal, the surrounding area does, did not look like it does today. We're about 10 minutes from the St. John's Outdoor Shopping Center, which is a good stress relief break for all of you students who enjoy shopping. There's also a lot of great restaurants in the area as well. And you might be asking, Megan, I'm coming from another area and I know nothing about Jacksonville. Where do I live? Well, we can help you with that too. There's a lot of different housing opportunities here in the area. We have many, many, many apartment complexes. There's condos, there's homes. Our students choose really anything that best fits their needs. 
So we have some connections within the community so that we can get you in contact with someone to give you some suggestions. We work with nest finders and they will send you a list of places and you can always call back to us and get advice and get suggestions based on what we've heard from our current students. So that is why you should come to Florida Coastal. That is why you should come to Jacksonville because there's gonna be a lot of great opportunities for you just in the city alone. But I can't just sell you on the city, right? We can look at these maps and we can see where Jacksonville is located and we can see that you can easily get down to Orlando in two hours and you can get to Tallahassee in about two and a half and you can get down to Miami and you can also get up to Georgia rather quickly. We're about two hours from Savannah, but it's, it's about so much more than just our location. It's about what can I give you? What can we give you as Florida Coastal that is a reason that you should apply here, is a reason that you should decide to attend law school with us. So I wanna talk about some of those benefits with you guys next. Why Florida Coastal? When someone asks me, why should I consider Florida Coastal? These are some of the top things that come to mind. We are the number one ranked moot court team in the nation currently. That is amazing. We are so proud of our students. And what makes this even greater at this point in time is we are a small law school. We don't have many students on our moot court team. Our team has, I think, less than 20 students on it, and they are competing against teams who have 60 to 80 members, and they are winning competitions. They won first and second place at the most recent competition that they went to, and that's why we're currently ranked first in the nation. Our students are leaving tomorrow to go to send two teams again up to a competition at Notre Dame. They are doing amazing things and we are so proud of them. And that is one of the reasons that you should choose Florida Coastal because you will get this great experience. And it's much more than just being a part of this team. It is that networking that I was talking about and meeting people through that that is gonna help you with your career in the future. So Professor Scales talked to you guys about Bar Pass and what we provide here on our campus for you. And it is a great resource. I personally am a graduate of Florida Coastal and when I started, the classes weren't required, but you could take advantage of them. And you can bet that I did. To be able to study for the bar exam six months before you actually take it is amazing because at the end of the day, you might forget some of that stuff you learned your first year. So having the opportunity to kind of refresh yourself right before you get to that eight to 10 weeks that you're studying is so beneficial. 71% of our students pass the Florida bar for the first time here in July. And we are so proud of this and we cannot wait to see where our students are going to go and how our bar passage rate continues to grow. Our faculty, you saw Professor Scales just finished teaching two classes back to back this morning and she volunteered her time to assist me and talk to you guys about the opportunities you will have here on our campus. Our faculty are accessible. We have an open door policy on this campus and you can talk to them at any time. They also have their office hours, which you can take advantage of, but our faculty want to see you succeed. They are here to support you from day one all the way to the end. In our first year, we have something called studying the law. It is a class that basically helps you feel prepared for law school. You might attend one week where we are reviewing IRAP, which is how we look at legal writing in your classes. And then a couple weeks later, you might be re reviewing a midterm. You might have a presentation on time management and stress in law school. This is not a class that you're taking for credit, but it is a class that is going to be impactful. Yes, it's on a Friday morning, but it's not every Friday and it will help you through your first year. As part of that class, you also will be assigned an academic program director and they are basically there to help and support you during that first year. It's typically going to be your writing professor. So, hey, you come to Florida Coastal, Professor Scales, she could be your academic program director. She also teaches our first year students in their writing courses. All right, next, we have the second lowest tuition for private schools in the state of Florida. Okay, I know you're looking at this and you're saying, but Megan, it's still just under 40,000 a year. 
And I totally get it. Law school is expensive, but law school is an investment. And you need to ensure that you find the school that is the right fit for you, is going to provide the resources that you're looking for, is and is going to ensure your success at, after. So while the cost of tuition may look high, just think of it as an investment in your future. And also, we do offer scholarships. So if you're concerned about the cost of attending, we do offer merit-based scholarships. We're gonna look at your LSAT score and your undergraduate GPA and award those. So don't worry, we're here to support you and help you with the financials that come into play when it comes to law school. I'm happy to answer any other questions you have about financial aid as well here at the end of the webinar. And finally, we are a small institution that feels like a family. And I truly mean that. We have just under or just over 200 students on our campus right now, but we have supportive faculty, staff, and administration that are here to help you every step of the way. They want to see you succeed. They are here pushing to support you every step of the day. We are here every step of the way, I guess. We are here to help you. We are here to provide advice. We are here to provide support. But most importantly, we are here to push you towards your goals. And in the, as we go along, we want to be like a family. We want to be a community that supports you along the way. And you're going to feel that not only from the faculty, staff, and administration, but from your fellow students. If you come to campus and you talk to our students, or if one of our students calls you on the phone, they will tell you what it's like on this campus. Just last week, they did a chili cook-off as part of a fall activity. Next month, we are going to be doing the 10 days of finals, which went really well last year, and we didn't want to not have that for our students this year. So there are all kinds of activities that are happening on campus day in and day out to make this feel like a family environment. And if you come and visit us, you will see that. If you haven't been here to visit us yet, I invite you to do so. If you are local in Jacksonville, we are hosting some meet and greets over the last couple, next couple days. This evening, we will have a meet and greet right here on campus from 6 to 8 p.m. So if you're available, just stop on by, come and see us. If that doesn't work for you, I'm gonna be out at the town center tomorrow in the morning from 10.30 to 11.30 at the Starbucks, and then tomorrow evening from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Panera and we will send you more information. If that doesn't work for you, you can schedule an individual appointment with me at any time, and we can also sign you up for an individual visit to not only meet with me and tour our campus, but observe one of our first year classes. All right, so let me tell you a little bit more about Florida Coastal. What does it look like? What are we looking for when it comes to our students who are being admitted? I know that these are really important questions that all students have outside of what is offered on the campus, but the number one question I get is, what's your median LSAT score? So here it is, right here for you. Our median LSAT score is a 149. Our median GPA is a 3.12. If you have not taken the LSAT yet, I strongly encourage you to study for at least three months before you take the exam. This will help you be prepared for it and know exactly where you're at. Also, do not take the LSAT cold turkey. It is not like $10. It's like a $200 exam. You want to go in prepared and ready to go. There are a lot of resources out there, and if you ever need any information on that, you just let us know. The ethnic diversity in our class was 38%, and our average age was 26 now, there might be some of you here watching that are like, I'm not near that age, I'm older. That is okay. We also have a lot of non-traditional students. Our class really swings from students right out of undergrad to students who have had a second career. They're looking at a third career. Students who have been active military and are now home. Mothers who have raised their children and now have decided that they want to pursue their dreams. There are all kinds of students on this campus. And we are very proud of that because we provide an opportunity for students to get to where they want to be. 89% of our first year students did receive some type of scholarship like I talked about earlier. So we automatically will consider you for that. 
We get your LSAT score, we get your GPA, and we will award you a scholarship when we review your application. For our fall class, we also had more female than male, which um, is a trend in higher education. So males, if you're watching, come on over. Let's get you applying here to Florida Coastal. We also have 6,000 alumni that have graduated from Florida Coastal. We are about just over 20 years old, so we are a younger law school, and we have alumni almost in every state and in some countries. So that is amazing. So we want you to be a part of that number. We also have donated now over a million hours of legal service. Giving back to the community is very important to Florida Coastal. We want our students to be immersed in the community that we are in, in Jacksonville, and we want them to give back to their local communities should they decide to go back home. All of our students are required to do pro bono work, and they can also receive honors by doing even more pro bono work. So that's a little bit about the stats here at Florida Coastal. That's a little bit about the different opportunities that we have on our campus. I now want to open it up for any questions. Now, if you'll notice, there is a chat box off to the side. So if anyone has any questions, go ahead and type those in there, and I would be more than happy to answer them. So I'm going to give it just a couple of seconds here to see if anyone has any questions. They can be about bar pass. They can be about incoming credentials. They can be about when you can come visit next. Any questions at all that you might have, I want to make sure that I get those answered. If there was something here in the webinar that was not covered that you were hoping that we would cover today, please feel free to add those in there as well. And if you are having trouble finding the text box, feel free um, to go ahead and unmute, your, unmute yourself. I don't think there's many of us um, still on, so it shouldn't be a distraction if that is an easier way for you to ask your questions. have a question? All right, guys. I don't see any questions popping up. That's okay. You might have specific questions that you need me to answer for you, and I am more than happy to do that. You can always reach out to me with any questions. If you got the email from me with the information to sign up, you of course can go ahead and email me and we can set up an appointment so that I can answer your specific questions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this webinar today and got a lot of information from us about the different opportunities that are available here at Florida Coastal and in the city of Jacksonville. We hope you will consider applying to us, not maybe for this spring, if you're you know, anxious and ready to get started. Our classes will start on January 21st and our application is currently open. We are taking students not only for our traditional program, but also our two-year accelerated program. So if you haven't heard about that program, just a little bit here. It is a program designed for students to complete their, year, their degree within two years. You basically will start in the spring, you'll take classes in the spring, summer, fall, and then we add in some intercession courses as well. You will still take the 90 credits that our students take in the traditional program, but you will graduate in um, December of 2021 if you were going to start this January. Now you will have to have taken and be registered for the LSAT. Latest date would be the November test. If you haven't taken the LSAT yet or are taking it in the future, then fall is going to be the best option for you. Our fall 2020 application is open as well, and we are just starting to review those applications this week, and students will start receiving decisions. So get in your application now. Send any questions that you have my way, and I really thank you guys all for being here today. 
And I hope you have an awesome rest of the week, and I hope that you will consider choosing Florida Coastal for your legal education. Talk to you all soon.